Hare Krishna. To think that the illusions tempting us are new is an old illusion. The world we live in is an arena of illusion. The illusion primarily is that the objects of this world, they can fulfill our longing for happiness. And you're looking, maybe this will make me happy, maybe that will make me happy, maybe that will make me happy. And in this way, as we are craving, craving, craving for various things, essentially what happens? Essentially what happens is that we get disoriented, that we get lost. Because we, the world is filled with so many varieties of objects. This will make me happy, maybe that will make me happy. And the objects, they often come in new garbs, new appearances. And when we think that, okay, that this particular object, I have never enjoyed this. No, I have not, I have never eaten this particular food. I have never had a relationship with this person. I have never seen this sight. I have not seen this picture. I have not, I have not done that. When we think like this, then essentially what happens is, we think the illusions are new, but thinking that the illusion is new is an old illusion. Because, you know, if something was just, we, we are thinking that it's just old and familiar, we would not feel so tempted by it. So, even if it is old, even if we have enjoyed the same thing before, we think maybe I'll get something new. So, the, I, the, the hope for newness is the essential illusion. So, as long as we don't address that, we may fight this temptation, that temptation, that we may, we may make ourselves philosophically astute, we may make ourselves very determined, no, I won't succumb to this illusion, I won't succumb to this illusion. But the foundational illusion is, is the idea that we will find something new, some, something that will fulfill our longing for happiness fully in this world. And that illusion is something which you can overcome not simply by philosophical analysis or uh, willpower. For that we need redirection of our heart. We need connection with Krishna. We need His mercy. Only when we find newness in Krishna will we be able to uh, reject the search for newness in the things of this world. Only when we find newness in Krishna then and then alone we'll be able to reject our search for newness in the things of this world. And thus we understand the significance of the Gita's declaration 7.14. Daiviyesha gunamai mamamaya duratyaya mamayevaye prapadyante mayame tam tarantite. So Krishna says, Esha gunamai. This illusory energy made of three modes, duratyaya, she is formidable, she is insurmountable. What makes her insurmountable? Because she keeps inducing within us the hope. Yeah, you'll enjoy something new. You'll enjoy something new. You'll enjoy something new. So, the way to overcome this is, When we surrender to Krishna, when we become absorbed in Krishna, when we become dedicated to Krishna, Maya me tam tarantite. We transcend Maya. We attain Krishna. This is what we all need to do. We need to become devoted to Krishna. We need to become absorbed in Krishna. When we fulfill our search for newness in Krishna, then we will get over this old illusion that we can find something new in this world. Thank you. Hey Krishna.